We welcome you to the Seraphim Machinery Podcast. We are your seating and tillage specialists aiming to deliver business updates, industry stories and special guests from customers, dealers, suppliers and Seraphim staff. Today's episode takes our team out to Rankin Springs in New South Wales, where a collaborative training day was hosted by Kelly Tillage. Our staff gained valuable knowledge and hands-on experience with the 40-foot tillage system out on hire. Thanks to the Kelly team for travelling all the way from Bullaroo in South Australia. Now it's time to hear from the Executive Director of Research and Development, Shane Kelly, and our Sales Manager, Rodney Dunn. Take it away, Rodney. G'day everybody, Rodney from Seraph Machinery, and I'm here with Shane Kelly from Kelly Tillage, uh, all the way from Bullaroo Centre in uh, South Australia, who's come over uh, with his team uh, to give us a bit of a run through and a bit of product training, as we are the new Kelly Tillage uh, dealers for the Riverina. Thank you very much for your time, mate. Really appreciated. Thanks. Let's uh, take it away. Give us a bit of a bit of a spiel on uh, what what Kelly's uh, all about. Sure. Thanks, Rodney, and thanks for having us. It's a uh, it's a pleasure to be out in the paddock and uh, and, and here to have a look around. Um, first of all, congratulations and and thanks for your confidence in our product. And um, so we're here to to make sure that confidence is is not in any way misplaced. Um, we, we we support our product and, and we want to be here. This opportunity to deliver some some you know, training, help your technicians and your field guys understand how to optimise the performance of the machine. Obviously, you know, everybody's customer benefits from that. So yep, well anytime your team need any of that, um, we're here. So Kelly Tillage um, comes from family farming background. Um, we're sort of 100 and something years of, of multi-generational family farming in South Australia and started developing tools and sort of an extra enterprise to the farm, which was Dad's engineering business, um, that we needed on the farm as well as, uh, you know, other, other families did. And, and sort of the... The key tool that came out of that 80s and 90s sort of development and experimentation time was was the disc chains, the, the Kelly Diamond Harrow that yep. uh, that we're representing here today. And its original purpose was to help us rebuild our soils, to help because South, some of South Australia's soils are some of the oldest and, and uh, most eroded and poorest yep. soils nearly on the planet, certainly in the country. And so getting our stubble back into our soil, reducing the amount of tillage we were doing, reducing the number of passes became really important. And we saw over 10 years while I was operating the farm complete change in our, in our farm, you know, the soils responded enormously and yeah. came alive. So we saw a real value in that and Dad had the engineering business and he had some products that had spread well beyond Bullaroo and so he saw opportunity that uh, maybe some of the northern New South Wales and some of the other areas, um, this was a tool that, that should apply. So he got on the road and started presenting that around. And, uh, you know, in the last 30 years, they've become a pretty standard tool right throughout Australia. And so stubble management, and then on to seedbed preparation and levelling, filling in wheel ruts, and you know, in no-till environment yep. where things can get a bit out of hand, particularly on the self-mulching soils after a few years, just to pull it all back flat again. Yep. Uh, and then into weed control. So you know, as herbicide resistance has become more and more of a major issue, and Australia has really experienced at that, then um, some kind of mechanical weed control, without stepping all the way back away from you know no-till and, and, and reduced tillage. Um, really, really has a place. They sort of complement each other rather than, than oppose. But it's a tool that works in, it's really quite universal. It works in with, you know, traditional heavy tillage and you know, through Europe, um, we fit in really well as a finishing tool. And in North America, the same thing as a great spring finishing tool, really good seedbed preparation so that, you know, expensive precision planters can now operate in, in optimum conditions. Um, and I think there's really complementary opportunity here with, with you guys and the products yeah, that you make. For sure. And so, you know, they, they go hand in hand. It's not sort of instead of or you get too evangelis- evangelical about any particular product. Um, actually, complementary products that add efficiency and reduce cost. Absolutely. That's well, what we're yeah, really looking forward to is to see how, because it's going to fit into our range and, and what we're all about with seeding and tillage uh, is what, what, what our caper is. And uh, this is just another tool that's going to really fit in nicely, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, think yeah. I think I think you're right. So really hard, in, especially Australian conditions, to increase productivity dramatically. So where you can increase margin by reducing cost, that becomes a really important factor and probably more so in Australian conditions than certainly northern hemisphere conditions. Yeah. Um, North America and Europe, both really important markets for us. The US is a major market. Really picked up, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it has, yeah. Cool. It's sort of when we first started exporting there, it was a handy, you know, supplement and, and risk management, if you like, to the Australian market, but it has gone on to dominate. It's such a big market and opportunity there, you know, is, is, is a long road in front of us for opportunity. Yeah, right. um, and we're seeing 
you know, markets like Argentina, really no-till environment, um, quite fanatical no-till, yep. are really embracing this. You know, the sales in the last four years since we've been in Argentina uh, just really have grown to strong levels and continue to grow. That stimulated interest in Brazil. Yep. I think in Brazil we'll see, you know, we're talking complementary sort of stuff, expensive planters on big acres looking for efficiency and how do we get the best performance out of our planter, yep. you know, with high precision cotton and corn and, and soybean crops. Yep. And probably even more than, than we would see here in, in you know, broad acre wheats and barleys and things. So. That's right. So, you know, we offer a, a tool that just, let's call it a, just a good, honest, simple tool. It's low maintenance. It's really low cost to run. Yep. Lasts for a long time. You know, they maintain their value. It's extraordinary what older machines are making. That's from what we were talking about that before. <laughs> so, which is quite a compliment. But it's nice. But it also, I think, recognises the fact that you can buy an old machine and know that it's still supported. That's right. So we still provide spare parts for 20 and 30 year old machines. And, yep. and we've always tried to make a machine that's backward compatible yep. so that if you bought an old one, then the new parts will, will keep you out of trouble. And, uh, and guys can, you know, the most important thing is to be able to keep going on the day. We know in Australian conditions, you haven't got. You know, when it's right to be in, in the paddock, you need to be in the paddock. That's you right. haven't got unlimited time. So, so you know, it's made out of steel. You can weld it up. It's got standard bearings and components and things that, you know, you can just get out of your farm workshop most of the time and yeah. keep going. And, um, and, and it's simple. That's the other thing. It is. It's nice and simple design. It's not not very complicated when no. we when we get into it. So, no. so I think it's a really versatile tool. Does a range of things. Um, really cheap to run. Really easy to maintain and service. And you don't need to keep a big range of spare parts, but you know, it's great that you guys keep, will keep and do keep a good range of spare parts, so that'll service quite a regional area here. Yep. Um, when something does break, and invariably they do. You know, yeah, it's a technical gun. machine. It's ground engaging. So. <laughs> They're going to wear out and somebody's going to run into a tree with it. They're the two, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the two right. truths in life. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, so no, it's good. So we really encourage. And there's a, you know, there's a, there's a good reference sort of group of customers um, over the last 15 or 20 years, you know, smattered right through this sort of, uh, region, maybe maybe not so much in the MLI, but certainly all the areas surrounding it. Um, it's you know, dry land, broadacre stuff. There, so. It's amazing where they're popping up from from taking on the the the, uh, the, the brand. Um, just how many there is in this area. Yeah. Uh, but when you start seeing the job that they're doing, you, you can really see why. Um, there's a lot of farmers out there that are um, looking this way as a solution, um, and, and it's you know it's doing a great job. The other comment that they've also made is uh, the reduction in fuel. For, for per hectare, um, they, they seem to be very fuel efficient. They are really, because we're, we're really trying to work shallow. And so if you look at the really shallow spectrum of stuff, you know, there's a couple of different tools in there, but the ultra shallow and through to the sort of the middle third of that spectrum, we cover really, really well. If you yep. if you want to make sure you, you you have to be able to push the lever and dig it when it gets a bit tighter, or you really want to chop, you know, big corn starbles or anything, yep. you know, there's other tools that are probably better there. We, we can perform well in that space, but yep. I wouldn't, wouldn't say we're the, we're the, that's, that's our space necessarily. Yep. If that's a percentage of what you need, then we're fine. Um, yeah. In the sort of mid to really light stuff, we, we really shine in there. And because of the cost of operation, you've got 12 bearings on a thing that are running on the ground, so yeah. and with about 40,000 acre lifespan on those. So you know, just longevity is really good. The discs aren't being forced into the ground, so the yeah. wear life on the disc is quite extraordinary. It exceeds what you would expect from a disc because that's you're just right. not pushing it into the ground. Yeah. And those things sort of lead to you know fuel economy, fuel effectiveness. So, um, yeah, without trying to quite numbers, but you know, the gentleman just this morning was saying he's using about a third of a tank of fuel a day compared yeah. to you know, cultivator down the track is using a tank full. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. So same, that's same, same for yeah, him. Similar tractor and, and uh, yeah, it, at least double double the bloody uh, fuel. Yeah. 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 So as I said, reducing cost, increasing margin, that's straight at the bottom line. Yeah. Oh, very good, very good. Uh, well, I know we've uh, learned a hell of a lot uh, over the last couple of hours that we've been here. It's been fantastic to uh, have you come down. I really appreciate you, the, the time you've spent to do it. Um, it's definitely worth worth a trip. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for your time, mate. Really appreciate it. Good on. Thanks, no uh, Thank you. Good, good for us and important that we you know get out of the office and come out and spend some time with customers. It's always good, isn't it? Thanks for having us. Uh, my pleasure.